Hello, everybody. This is Code J. Today, I'm going to show you how to schedule your DAG at any time you want using the Chrome expression. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. In Airflow, creating a DAG needs the schedule interval parameter, which receives a Chrome expression as a string or a data time time data object. So, what is Chrome expression? A cron expression is a string comprising five fields separated by white space that represents a set of time, normally as a schedule to execute some routine. Airflow already provides some presets for the schedule interval, like at daily, at hourly, which is linked to its cron expression string. So, if you know how to use cron expressions. You can schedule your DAG in any way you want. Let's go back to VS Code and create a new DAG file called DAG with Chrome Expression .py and open it. We firstly import any packages needed. Then we define the DAG with a simple task using the bash operator. We want to start our DAG at the November 1st, and then we schedule it daily with the Airflow Chrome preset at daily. Save the file, then we go to the browser and refresh the page. Let's select the DAG and start it. Wait until it finishes. We can see that the DAG has been executed from November 1st to yesterday, November 16th. Let's go back to VS Code to schedule our DAG daily using the cron expression string. We change the schedule interval parameter from the at daily to the cron string 0, 0, and 3 starts separate by space. Update the DAG version and save the file. Let's refresh the browser and select the newest DAG. Then we start it. Once it finishes, we can see that the DAG execution history is exactly the same as the at daily preset. But how to generate customized schedule interval using the cron expression? Luckily, there's a website called crontab.guru, which gives us a visual way to generate and verify the cron expression. Let's check it in the browser. In the text field, we can define our cron expression. Every time we give our input, it will automatically verify whether the input is valid or not. If we input the wrong syntax, the text field will turn red. Otherwise, it will interpret our input's cron expression and show its meaning in human language above the text field. Now, let's try to generate a cron expression which runs tasks weekly on Tuesday 3 a.m. in the morning and see the at 3 a.m. on Tuesday above. Let's go back to VS Code to change the schedule interval parameter to our customized cron expression. Update the DAG version and save it. Let's refresh the Airflow web server UI. We can pick the newest DAG, then start it. Once it finishes, we can see the DAG has been executed at 3 a.m. from the first Tuesday, November 2nd, to the latest Tuesday, November 9th. What if we want to run the DAG weekly but on multiple weekdays? For example, to schedule our DAG weekly on Tuesday and Friday at 3 a.m. We just need to add comma and Friday to our previous cron expression. Let's use the cron tab.guru to verify it. Yes, we can see the interpretation above says at 3 a.m. on Tuesday and Friday. What if we want to run our DAG weekly from Tuesday to Friday? We can also just simply add Wednesday and Thursday to it with comma in between. Or we can type Tuesday dash Friday. Both ways will work. Let's copy it and go back to VS Code 
to change our DAX schedule interval. Then we update the DAX version. Go back to the browser to refresh the Airflow web server. Pick the newest DAG, start it, and wait for its execution to be finished. Once it is done, we can hold our mouse over the DAG runs, and we can see the DAG has been executed every Tuesday up to Friday from November 2nd. That's it! You have learned how to schedule Airflow DAG with the cron expression. With the same logic, you can generate monthly quarterly, and whatever cron expressions you want. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. And last but not least, which Airflow topics do you want to see in the next video? Please comment below. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.